Hello there, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to your August bonus love reading. We are looking into the person on your mind's feelings and actions towards you. Time is fluid and this reading can resonate for anyone who has strong Aquarius in their charts. And let's get started and into it. This is for my beautiful Aquarius. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Aqua. Show me the person on Aquarius' mind. What are their feelings for Aquarius? All right, let's see what's coming through. We have the devil. We have the nine of pentacles. And we have the temperance card. All right, Aquarius, I definitely feel like for some of you, devil, nine of pentacles, temperance, there could be an extremely strong chemistry here you are feeling with this person they are feeling it with you could be dealing with somebody who's a little bit obsessive or feeling a sense of strong pull towards your energy some of you could be dealing with a capricorn with the devil coming in temperance here as well i do feel like for some of you this person either feels like you fear commitment or this energy is fearful of commitment this, um, it, I mean, this is their feelings towards you, but, you know, take which way this resonates, Aquarius. It's not, the energy is not always going to come out perfectly for every single person. So keep that in mind. And I don't mean single person. I mean just person in general. So we also have temp temperance here, which is Sagittarius energy. So I feel like a, a, a couple different stories here. I feel an urgency. I feel like a very strong pull this person has towards you where almost they feel like they don't want you to be single. They don't want you to be available anymore. Others of you, I feel like it could be totally backward where this person is an extremely fearful state of wanting strong, super strong commitment. So I do feel like a fear of... a strong belief system happening here because it is different for some of you. Let's clarify this, Aquarius. Let's get some more details on this. On this devil, we have the Ace of Wands. Oh yeah, I told you, I feel that strong urgency of attraction. I'm telling you, a lot of you, Aquarius, this person does not want you to be single. I almost feel like for some of you, that could resonate with the other storyline where this person doesn't want you to be single, but they're not necessarily doing much to secure their spot. Interesting. Nine of pentacles to the hermit. Yep, there it is. And temperance to the high priestess. Yeah, wow. Okay, Aquarius. So take your resonating story. I definitely feel like there's two stories here. I feel like this person is extremely feeling an urgency to come towards you. I feel like a lot of you, this is their feelings. So some of you with the hermit here and the high priestess, they are trying to telepathically pick up on your energy. I feel like this person doesn't want you to turn away from them. So they're being a bit careful with the way that they're communicating with you and however they're communicating with you. Like if this person feels like they're on bad terms with you, they may be giving you some sort of space or they feel the need to give you space in hopes that there will be that temptation of wanting to talk. Others of you, this person is feeling this large sense of urgency to come towards you and they want to lock it down. They don't want you to be available for anybody else. They don't. And I feel like they're hoping that you feel the same. But there is that fear there of readiness for the strong commitment that somebody has. Either they feel like you have it or this person has it. I feel like it could be 50-50, honestly, with the collective that I could be reading for right now. Let's clarify this and get some hidden... No, no, no. Actually, let's get the Mystic Moons first and see if they can give me other energies that are coming from this person's feelings. We have Virgo energy pretty strongly. We have Capricorn. We also have the 
Sagittarius there, Pisces as well. Let's see what we have from the Mystic Moons. We have mirroring. Yeah, I feel like this person is like, I feel a like carefulness, like being careful, but to a, a certain degree. We have stuck, exactly, and solitude. Yeah, it's like there's a fear of somebody not wanting to give up their solitude. Somebody has it. Somebody feels that here. Either because somebody felt like they were better without this person who's coming back in to tempt them. Like Aquarius, you may feel like you are better off without this person. And this person is trying to tempt you to feel their absence and come towards them. If that makes sense. It's like some of you, this person may be trying to test the fact that you don't want to be with them anymore. Keep that in mind. That can happen for some of you. Um, too many cards. Spirit, please clarify this for Aquarius, mirroring, stuck, and solitude. Others of you, it's on the total other side of the spectrum. And I feel like this is definitely somebody that is being very careful with the way they're wording or and being towards you. Um, but there's this very strong urgency and temptation towards it. Or I feel it here. Or somebody's trying to create it. Let's see. We have mirroring to muse. There it is. There's that strong inspiration. There's that feeling, the need to want to talk to each other, want to be around each other. But it's almost like there is this readiness to it of, am I ready for this again or in general or to be more committed? We have stuck with divine feminine. Possibly it's the feminine energy who feels stuck or feels like they are are receiving the delay from the masculine male or female does not matter take assign your role and solitude is to destruction so interesting so a lot of you aquarius do have feelings for this person no matter how you resonate to this because you feel like even if you do stay away from this person um it's not fully what you want some of you yes some of you no let's see interesting we have divine timing we have action and we have victim yeah there's like a, a scarcity of a cycle of destruction that you're either feeling like you might have with a newer person or if you give this person a chance or this may be how this person feels towards this connection on <clears throat> If there's commitment or deeper commitment, it may just cause things to be ruined and end up in a larger separation or a finalized separation. It's almost a large intertwined energy of a fear of commitment and a fear of abandonment. It's crazy the way it's coming out, but that's what I feel here. I feel like they feel this towards you. I almost feel like you feel this towards them, especially with mirroring there too, to muse and divine timing. It's like there's, <clears throat> it's like I, you want to take action towards something, but you feel like it's wrong or they want to take action towards it, but they feel like it's wrong or there could be fear, large fear connected to it. Let's see what the Hidden Truth Oracle has for you here, Aquarius, and see how this person feels towards you. Oh, okay. We have, it was my fault, but I blamed you. So possibly there could have been some sort of blaming in here or um, conversation about where this is going, what this is doing. We have, I want you <clears throat> and we need to let each other go. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Why is this happening? There, look, exactly what I just said. I want you. We need to let each other go. It was my fault, but I blamed you. It's kind of like... <clears throat> It's almost like somebody coming around and saying, hey, I'm sorry for what I did. Can you give me another chance? And it's just like um, being responded back to and well, if I give you a chance then you'll just mess it up. So what's the point? Or this new person comes into your life and you've been through a lot of destruction. You've been trying to be too towards yourself and you're like, well, if I give this person a chance, it probably won't work out. So what's the point? I feel like you both equally feel this way. 
which is crazy to see. But I feel like in certain storylines of some of you Aquarius, it could be that there is a strong fear of abandonment and or strong fear of commitment. Choose which one aligns with your story. Some of you, it actually could be both. Where you're almost scared to be with somebody, but then you're also scared to lose them. And or this is how this person feels about you, Aquarius. They could be scared to be with you, but also scared to lose you. When I say that, it feels right for me to say. So let's see what their actions towards you are going to be. I see action happening for some of you. Others of you, I feel like there could be a little bit of a weight around it. Clarify this for my beautiful aquas and tell me what this person's actions towards Aquarius will be. What will be this person's actions towards Aquarius? Thank you. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands. So this person struggles with this connection or this person is struggling with what to do here. We have the Ace of Cups. They definitely, definitely have feelings for you. They're definitely gaining feelings for you. Strong attraction. I don't feel like this person really ever stopped wanting you. And we have the Ten of Cups. Yeah. There it is. The two sides of the spectrum of maybe this could be amazing or this will be horrible. So let's clarify this. Um, I definitely see this person being more open and giving towards you. Whether there has been a bit of a weight around it. Ten of Wands. Or a little bit of a struggle with it. Um, Ten of Cups could be some sort of family dynamic involved, or there it is, Ten of Pentacles. Could have been struggle with family, or maybe, um, you know, if there was separation here, and it's like having to tell this, your family, like, I'm interested in this person again, or whatever sort of way, shape, or form, or there's some sort of family dynamic, or maybe you have been in solitude and very focused on your home life, and now love presents itself, and you're not as at home, or... This definitely could be around the situation with commitment. Ace of Cups, where commitment seems like, I don't know, or it's a struggle. To Ace of Cups to the Two of Wands, so new path available for you in your love life, no matter what your storyline here is, and on the Ten of Cups, the Page of Swords. So there's a lot of curiosity, there's a lot of questioning as well here, at least for this moment right now, on... Are we going to get past these commitment issues? Are we going to get past these abandonment issues? Are we going to get past these um, feelings or mirroring like energy of feeling stuck or in that belief system of fear? It's like definitely questions being answered on the spectrum of what's going on here with this new path that's open. And I do feel like for some of you, there is the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. There could be two people here coming in for you. Um, you know, that could also be where you have, you feel like you may have to let one person go for another person and or vice versa. I don't know. I feel like that could be for a lot of you, Aquarius. This is these people, this person's feelings for you, and they're coming in as offers towards you, technically. Interesting energy. Clarify this page of swords here. I definitely see communication um, coming in on whatever sort of level of figuring each other out or trying to figure out this connection. And I do see some love. High Priestess. Yeah, a lot of figuring out. And the King of Wands. And there's that attraction there that is just never going away. Or hasn't ever gone away. Or just really that strong foundation to this. That is where there's this pull to nurture this connection. But there's this large question on what level. But they're going to continuously do it. It's just, I see you two working through that energy of that. So this is what I have here for you. Once again, Virgo and Pisces energy coming in. We also have Capricorn, Sagittarius, like I said before. This is what I have here for you, Aquarius. Thank you for being here and for watching. I hope you have a wonderful 
the rest of your day wherever you are at in the world. And do not forget to ring that bell and subscribe if you have not already. Like this video so you are also alerted when a new Aquarius reading is released. And sending each and every one of you all of my love. I'll see and talk to all of you very, very soon. Bye now, Aqua.